The first step in answering any such questions is to find the keywords. So here we go. The figure below shows an empty rectangular tank measuring 55 by 20 by 30 centimeters. At 2 p.m., tap X was turned on to fill the tank with water. Water flowed out of tap X at a rate of 4.2 liters per minute. After five minutes, and this is a word of change, so after five minutes, tap Y was also turned on to drain the water from the tank. So at this point, I would like to highlight that we have both what we call an inflow of water going in and water starts flowing in at 2 p.m. and an outflow of water coming out and this starts at 2.05 p.m., five minutes later. Okay, so let's carry on with the rest of the question. At 2.15 p.m., the tank was half filled. So for a fraction, we should always circle the numbers, the digits involved, and decide what they represent. Here, two is the tank, and one is the part that was filled with water. Now, the question. A, what was the rate of flow of water in tap Y? In other words, how much water was flowing out of the tank every minute from tap Y? B, what fraction of the tank was filled with water at 2.30 p.m.? Now, as many of my students will be aware, I've said before that when you see fraction and you circle off, whatever comes after off is your denominator. So in this particular case, the denominator of the answer is the tank and the numerator will be the part that was filled. And this is at 2.30 p.m. So let's begin. The question says that at 2 p.m., tap X was turned on. So water will start flowing into the tank at 2 p.m. So my question then is, for tap X from 2 p.m. to 2.15 p.m., which is the time that we are interested in, how much time has passed. When taking exams, it is necessary to write information like this to show where you get the time from or the minutes or the numbers from, in this case, 15. Now, since water is flowing out of tab X, and given by this number here, 4.2 liters per minute, then I know that in 15 minutes, it will be 15 times 4.2 liters, okay? So pressing this on my calculator, that gives me 63 liters of water. So 63 liters of water will flow into the tank from 2 p.m. to 2.15 p.m. Now, the next thing we need to find is how much water is actually still in the tank at 2.15. The clue that is given to us is that at 2.15, one part of the tank was filled with water out of two parts which is half the tank. So what is the amount of water for half the tank? So our goal really here is to find half the capacity of the tank. So for the tank, half of the capacity is calculated by taking half times base, which is 55 by 20, 
by height. So half times 55 times 20 times 30. Let's press that on the calculator. So that's half times 20 times 30 times 55. And that gives me 16,500 cubic centimeters. Now, I will need to figure out how many liters this is. My question to you is, how many cubic centimeters are there in one liter? Your answer, if you said 1,000, then you're correct. And to convert 16,500 cubic centimeters into liters, all I need to do is take 16,500 and divide that by a thousand. Okay, now just an extra learning point here. You can actually do division by moving the decimal back three steps and that will give you 16.5 liters. Next question, why do I need to change this to liters? The answer is because the outflow was calculated in liters. So if you're going to calculate, they must be of the same units. Let's move on. Since the outflow is 63 and half the tank is 16.5, then the next question becomes, so what happened to the rest of the water? 63 liters went in, but yet I only have 16.5 liters left. So what happened? Well, the water flowed out. So by taking 63 minus 16.5, I will know how much water flowed out. So that's my next step. I'm going to find the outflow from tap Y. To find the outflow, all I need to do is take the inflow, which is 63, and subtract away 16.5 liters, which is what is left in the tank. So quickly pressing the calculator, that tells me that 46.5 liters of water float out of the tank. Now, the next question is, how long did it take 46.5 liters to flow out of the tank from tap Y? The answer is that tap Y was turned on at 2.05 and by 2.15, 10 minutes, would have passed. So now, if I were to take 2.05 p.m. to 2.15 p.m. Now remember what I said, it should always show where you get the information, okay? 10 minutes would have passed. And in this 10 minutes, 46.5 liters of water would have flowed out of tap Y. So now all I need to do to find the rate of flow and we call this an outflow is by taking 46.5 liters and dividing this by 10. Okay. And over here, if you press it on the calculator, you will get 4.65. Okay, again, a quick way of calculating without a calculator will simply be to move the decimal back one space because there is a zero here. This gives us 4.65 liters of water flowing out of tap Y every single minute. And now, if we look at the question, it says, what was the rate of flow of water from tap Y we know that we have already answered the question. So the answer for part A is simply 4.65 liters per minute. Now let's answer part B. For part B, they are asking you what fraction of the tank was filled with water at 2.13 p.m. So from 2.15 p.m. when there was 16.5 liters of water to 2.30 p.m. How much water would have flowed in or out of the tank? 
Now 2.15 to 2.30 p.m. is 15 minutes. My question to you is, is more water flowing in or out every minute? Okay, your answer, if you said outflow, then you're right, because the inflow is 4.2 liters per minute, and the outflow is 4.65 liters per minute, which is a bigger amount. So overall, more water was flowing out than flowing in. And we call that an overall outflow. Okay, of course, that means that if more water was flowing in, it is an overall inflow. So the overall outflow is done, is calculated by taking 4.65, which is the outflow, and taking away 4.2, which is the inflow. Okay, this will give us 0 0.45 liters of water flowing out of the tank every single minute. Now, since it was flowing up for 15 minutes, then if this is for one minute, then for 15 minutes, it would be 15 times 0 0.45. And this will give us 0.45. a total of 6.75 liters of water flowing out in 15 minutes. Next question. If this was the amount of water that flowed out of the tank, how much water is still left in the tank? Well, we started with 16.5. And since 6.75 liters flow out, then the amount of water that I still have left in the tank after, at 2.30 p.m. is by taking 16.75 and taking away 6.75 liters. Okay, so 16.75 taking away 6. 0.75 meters. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake here. Let me correct myself. This is 16.5 liters taking away 6.75 liters. So let me calculate that again. And that will give me. 9.75 liters of water remaining. At 2.30 p.m. And so now we can answer the question. The question again says, what fraction of the tank was filled with water at 2.30 p.m.? Remember I said that whatever comes after the word off should be the denominator. And that means the denominator here is the tank. Okay, and on top should be the amount of water that it's still contained. Now, before we can answer this question, we need to know how much is in the tank. That is called the capacity. And the capacity of the tank is calculated by taking 16.5 plus 16.5, because 16.5 is half the tank. So if I take 16.5 times 2 or plus 16.5, that's either way would be fine. Your answer would be 33 liters. This means that the tank can hold 33 liters of water. But right now, there is only 9.75 liters left. So what fraction is filled? So what we want to do now is put fill, which is your 9.75, divided by the tank, which is its capacity, 
And now I have 6.75 divided by 33. And always leave your answer in the simplest form. So 6.75 divided by 33 would give you, oh, sorry, I made another mistake. This should be 9.75 divided by 33. Okay. giving me 13 out of 44. And that is the answer for part B. Okay, review this and look at this as many times as you need to, to understand the different parts. Now, if you find this useful, please share it with your friends and others who can benefit from this. And do please subscribe because I'll be producing more videos for you or your child to learn. Take care and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.